going to show you how I change out my pump site. A lot of people ask me, um, or I guess whenever I tell people that I wear a pump, they always ask what a pump is and how does it work, so I'm always showing them. So I'm going to show you exactly um, what a pump is and how it works and all that good stuff. So here's the pump. It kind of looks like an old school pager. Um, this is the old one that I did have, I'm throwing away, so you just take that out, put it to the side. Um, and on the pump, the way it works, there's this little, um, the pump delivers insulin into my body in small amounts all day long. So this little thing here um, just slowly winds its way up, pushing the, the insulin up. So I've got to rewind it so that it goes all the way down to the bottom, so when I put the new insulin in. So, right here are all the tools that I have. Um, I've got my insulin, brand new vial of insulin. I've got, um, this is the infusion site, or not the infusion site, the infusion set. And then this is the syringe that we put the insulin in. It's quite a process. So I'm gonna stick this on top of the insulin, turn it upside down, Get all the air out of the tube by pushing it really hard, and I'll just pull it down and it's going to fill up with insulin. I usually put about 100 units. I don't use a whole lot of insulin. I go through about anywhere from 20 to 30 units a day, being the holidays, it's a little bit higher. Um, and then you're supposed to change your side out every three days. I usually go a little longer. Um, Okay, so this is one of the sides. Now I have this little guy full of insulin. Then I'm going to take this infusion set. It's called the quick set. This is the actual needle that's going to go in, in the tubing. I'm going to connect this here, stick it into the pump, wind it all the way down. Then I'm going to prime it. So what I've got to do is make sure there's no air in this tube. If there's air in the tube, I'm going to think I'm getting insulin, but I'm really getting air, and that's going to cause my blood sugar to go high. So I'm just going to hold this button down until insulin starts coming out, and there it is. Okay, here is um, the little infusion site injector. I don't know what the name is, but basically... I'm going to put this up against my skin, press it, and it's going to stick this inside of me. So I set this here. Um, before I can put it on, I've got to wipe um, the area of the skin that, where I'm going to put it with an IV prep so it makes it really sticky so that this doesn't come off. I usually do mine on my hip. I wanted to show you um, the last one that I had and take it off, but I always take it off in the shower. So um, and I have my dog here, so he's probably going to come over. All right, so I'm going to go about right here. I try to find where I have a little bit of extra subcutaneous fat. I'm going to rub that area with this IV prep. Max, Max likes to be a part of everything. Okay, I'm going to take this. I'm going to rip the sticky paper off and just push down. And I'm going to remove the little cap and I'm going to let you come up close and see this needle. This is here that's going to go inside, and then I'm going to pull it out, and the little cannula will stay in. So I'm just going to put it up against my skin and take a deep breath. Push this down all the way to make sure it gets all the way in. Pull this away, and then all I have to do is pull this needle out. So that's the needle that goes in, but once you pull it out, the cannula stays in, and now my pump site is just kind of cover it up and find a spot for the pump. And this stays on me 24-7. I can disconnect it to uh, take a shower, and when I disconnect, all I have to do is twist this. And this part will stay on for three to four days so I can shower. And that's it. That's how I change out my infusion site. Thanks for watching. See ya.